Hey guys, welcome back to Emlyn and Mix. Today we're going to be looking at the brand new app that's just come out from Roland. It's called Zen Beats. What's it all about? How does it sound? Does it sound like Roland? Let's check it out. You're on Emlyn in the Mix. Boom. Alright guys, so it's called Zen Beats here. So I'm just going to open it up. I've got it on the screen. Um, first off, really cool. Um, straight up off the bat, you have this uh, drum kit here. Well, actually, you've got this sort of live sort of um, sequencer type thing going on here where you can create your little uh, blocks of MIDI. So these are like your little scenes um, then you can record your song. But what I want to show you today, I don't want to go too much into the recording functionality of it. I just wanted to show you some of the sounds, um, see how it sounds, some of the presets. Um, so we'll start off with the drum kit. Um, it's very straightforward. We can hit record here. I'm going to put this down actually because I don't need to do that. We've got the screenshot going. So you can hear the, um, hear the little metronome going there. I'm just going to turn this up a bit for me, actually, just so I can hear it a bit better. Alright, and so now this is in record mode, so basically I can just start playing some. There you go, it's quantized it as well. You might be able to turn that off, I'm not sure yet. Let's get a snare going. Alright, so we've got a snare, a bit of a snare action going. Um, I don't know what this funky symbol. Turn that off for a sec. Hang on. Alright, cool. So, no, pretty straightforward. Nothing new about this in terms of a beat maker, in terms of features, quantize, doing all that. I mean, you can do this sort of thing in GarageBand, but it's cool because these are rolling sounds. This is uh, part of the 808 kit. So there we've got our little drum pattern going. Now you can actually go through your different kits. Here I've selected analog drum kit. You don't get a whole lot of kits. Alright, so you can go through your presets by clicking on this as well, and you've got a bunch here of different uh, drum kits. Dark Hip Hop. EDM. Got some effects going as well. Oh, I like that. I like that cowbell. That cowbell is banging. Alright, so that's pretty straightforward. What about some of the sounds? Like, how do they sound? So, let's jump over to our mixer. Uh, we put that down. Now we just go to get a new sound. We add a track here. So you've got your audio track, which I can record my vocal or record anything, any audio into. Uh, you got instrument track, another drum track, we could do that. You've even got send tracks. Um, track templates and parts. Won't worry about those right now. Let's look at instruments. So now we're looking at um, Roland sounding synthesizers basically. So there's not a whole lot of presets or instruments here, uh, but we'll have a look at what we're actually we've got here. So there's an electro bass there, very Roland indeed. Now one thing I must say I don't like about this app is if I try and click away from the presets menu, it doesn't go away. I have to click this little arrow. So that's one little annoying thing. Um, you can change your view with this little eye feature up here. I haven't quite worked out how that works. That just gives you all your different features, but you don't have to have all that on. Obviously, you can turn that off. Um, take us back to our keys. Again, this would just be a simple record and play. Uh, so let's do that here. Play our drums back so I can hear them. And jump into our keys. Alright, so obviously we want to shorten our little loop here. I can actually 
actually muck around here, you can see what's cool here when I open up the view, you can actually see uh, the different notes as squares and you can see the waveforms playing there so I can tell exactly which note is actually playing. Um, one thing I do like about this app is you can automate pretty much anything. I'm pretty sure you can automate like pitch. Let's do that now. So hit record. I mean, I mean, obviously you don't want it some as silly and wacky as that, but maybe we can roll with it and put the drums back in. Bear with me here. There we go. Our drums back in. Now, if we go take our recorder off here, <laughs> all right. So, back to drums. Alright, so there we go, we've got our little bass line and our drum loop going there as well. Um, why not add another sound here? So let's see what else we've got. We've got electric organ, electric keys. Uh, if we go up to Zen Beats plugins here, we can have a look at external plugins. Wow, okay, so this is a feature that needs to be unlocked with the full version. Um, back to Zen Beat plugins. Alright, so we've got some keys here. Here we go. Now one thing that is amazing is you are getting genuine Roland sounds. You got Roland organs, Roland basses, Roland keys, and they all sound really awesome actually. I myself have been wanting Roland gear for ages, so this is really nice to be able to get this in a free app. You cannot complain for that. Now obviously it's very limited in its use. Um, for example, you can't use external plugins and uh, without getting the full version. This uh, free version has its limitations. But overall, you guys should check it out. I just want to make this a really quick video. Just showing you um, the, the user interface looks awesome. When it comes to navigating, it's a little bit finicky. Like you got to go through different menus and layers to get to where I want to get to. But what I have noticed about this app is you can pretty much do everything in this app. Like you can basically automate everything from your LFO to your pitch to your modulation, any modulation you'd like you can automate it in this app, which is really cool. Changing your view, uh, so you bigger keys, you know, like it's all there. It's just a matter of learning it. It's not an easy learning curve of an app. It's like you need to actually sit down and work out what the hell's going on. All right, so look, anyway, guys, I just wanted to quickly, obviously, just give you a quick rundown of this app, just show you it. Um, Look, it, there is room for improvement on it, um, and it's a really cool idea, but I'm just finding it a little bit tricky and hard to get into all the features and all the layers quickly without having to read a bunch of uh, manuals or learn a bit more about this app, which I haven't done before this video, which sadly I should have done. All right, guys, should you check this out? It's the Roland Zen Beats. Yes, check it out. Why not? It's free, uh, and if you do like it, then you can pay for the upgrade. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video and until next time you know what to do peace out Boom.